Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Pineapple and today I am doing another episode of my City Living Let's Play. So, um, in the last episode, Zia went to the karaoke bar and she leveled up in singing and she got a promotion and her and Ryder are doing really well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Anyways, so it is now the Spice Festival and so Ryder has actually asked Zia to come to the Spice Festival after work and he said he's going to meet her there and he wants her to wear something really pretty and prettier than usual he said he he thinks her clothes are pretty um anyways but so she um while she's waiting for him to show up she is going to definitely buy some swag because you know me i like my festival swag um, a lot so i'm actually going to get her to buy one of every spice um i think we already have the freezer bunny snow globe but i'm just gonna get one just in case um, and then I think, oh, and wasabi. So I think that's all of the spice. Let's get two of each. Why not? Uh, it's not every day the spice festival comes around and I really want Zia to experiment with some spices. So I think that's good. So we have all of the spices and then, you know, Zia isn't a huge fan of this shirt because it has some meat on it, but she is going to, um, buy it anyways, um, just because, you know, she's kind of trying to collect all of those as well. So she is very excited. Um, she has, um, the imp, she has the stuff and the lighting is so pretty. Oh my gosh. She is just so ready. She is so ready. So we're going to find Ryder in just a second, but first off camera, I'm going to take some screenshots for the thumbnail. So I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I just really, this is such a pretty lighting and whatnot. So I wanted to get it looking really nice, but I think Zia is going to order some vegetarian safe curry, um, from Eliza pancakes, apparently. Apparently she can make some good curry. Surprising. Um, and then she is going to go um, sit down to eat it. Hopefully I'm not quite sure where she's going to sit. But oh, that looks really delicious. Oh my God. So I'm not quite sure where she's going to sit. But you know, as she's sitting down to eat her curry, um, this is when Ryder, you know, comes over to greet her. And so um, Ooh, hopefully Zia feels okay after eating this really spicy food. Um, but here Ryder comes and, you know, he's going to actually serenade her. So she's kind of like, wow, Ryder, I mean, I know you you told me to dress up, but you are, are really, really dressed up. Like, I, I mean, I guess. So he's going to serenade her and she, I don't know how well she's taking this, but she's I think she liked it. Oh, that's sweet. So um, she is eating her curry. She definitely cannot compete in this contest over here for curry eating because she is like literally like on fire, but she is feeling flirty. Oh, she's uncomfortable from a spicy burn, but hopefully she can also learn this dish to make at home, especially with the spices she got. Um, but Ryder's just kind of awkwardly sitting here like really, really dressed up while Zia is, you know, looking fancy, but just really eating curry. Um, so Ryder says, okay, once you're done eating this curry, I want to take you, um, somewhere special. So Zia, if she would finish the curry, I don't know if she ever will. Oh, she has learned how to make it. Um, so uh, that's all I need. So, oh my gosh, she's like burping like crazy. She's like, I do not feel attractive right now, but you know, he's asked her, um, let's see. I think he wants to stand, um, right here. Yes. So, um, he's asked her to walk over here with him. Um, and so Zia still is just kind of like, oh, okay. I mean, sure. I don't really know what this is all about. Uh, do you guys know what this is all about? This has to do with what he was searching for. Don't eat curry. Gosh, darn it obey me. So this has to do with, um, what he was, um, uh, what's, oh my God, sorry. What he was looking for online the other day. And this dude is like harassing Zia. So Zia, you need to stop talking to whoever this is. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So he's like, I bet you're wondering why, oh my God, stop talking to 
go away go away nobody likes you like literally nobody right now likes you you're you're interrupting the moment but anyways so um he's gonna start talking about his dreams with Zia and what writer's dreams entail is actually moving out to the suburbs and raising a lot of kids that's really what he's into and Zia's just kind of like I mean I don't know you know I can't have kids um and so I and I you know I really love the city I don't really want to move out to the suburbs but you know maybe we can talk about it later but um Ryder is not to be deterred and so um I think he's actually going to propose so I'm not quite sure how well this is gonna go over but he's gonna go for it um, he, maybe Zia will say yes, maybe she won't, I actually have no idea, but he is proposing to Zia, she, she, I don't know, oh, is she gonna say yes, she did, oh my goodness, I'm actually surprised, um, that she is said yes, I mean, wow, <laughs> I am really shocked, I actually thought that Zia was going to say no, um, just because, you know, the whole child talk, but apparently they got engaged at the Spice Festival, and that is really cute, and so I think, um, Zia is going to, um, celebrate by eating some, um, samosas, or she can sample the food, I think, that's what she can do, so I'll have her sample the food, this dude is being so rude, oh, that's not Zia, oh my goodness, <laughs> So she actually said yes. I'm really surprised. Um, but she's going to grab a serving of this food and she's going to try it and learn the recipe. And she's just feeling over the moon right now. She is so happy to be engaged. Um, you know, so <laughs> she's just really happy. Um, and so you know what she's actually going to do? The first thing she's going to do is um, she has to, of course, um, text her mom. I mean like who you know that, that's actually her mom is really important to her so she's actually going to um send her mom a text to you know let her know hey this really big thing has happened in my life um and i'm so excited um and it, so we're <laughs> once she gets past the burping and eating all the spicy food oh my gosh she's i'm loving her finally getting to eat spicy food. I've been waiting for this festival for ages, but we'll just fast forward through this a bit so that she can then tell her mom. Um, oh, Ryder failed that challenge. I guess he took it. Uh, but um, Zia knows how to make samosas now. And so now she is going to text her mom the big news. Um, you know, let her know that, oh my God, Ryder proposed to me and I said yes. And her mom is over the moon. Her mom is like absolutely ecstatic. But now, and Zia's a little bit nervous about this one, she needs to um, text Yasmin about it. Because um, Yasmin in the past hasn't always been for her relationship with Ryder. And so, you know, Zia texts her. She says, hey, Ryder proposed. And I said, yes, and I'm so excited. And Yasmin actually responds back, wow, that was fast. So Zia is going to um, send her another text and be like, well, what do you, what do you mean? That's fast. Like Ryder and I love each other. Why does that matter? And Yasmin basically says, you know, I don't want to get into this argument with you, especially over text. So Zia is like kind of hurt by that. Her best friend isn't all that excited for her. So she's feeling a little bit like, you know, she's still feeling really happy and flirty because she got engaged and all these things, but she's also feeling a little down. So she is just going to travel um, home um, with Ryder, who is apparently shirtless. Oh, he's playing. I was like, what is he doing? He's playing basketball. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Um, but yeah, so they are going back to the apartment now. So Zia and Ryder are celebrating in the best way that oh, they know how to celebrate um, a proposal, but Yasmin is right over here. Oh, she came into the apartment. I mean, she has a key. Um, I guess she's just kind of waiting for Zia to be done so she can talk with her. That's, that's a bit intense. So after Zia is done with this, she is going to kind of, you know, yell at Yasmin because she just kind of really barged her way in 
Like, she really, really did. Um, and so Ryder is just going to go to sleep because, um, you know, he's exhausted. He's very emotionally exhausted. I mean, he just did that terrifying thing of proposing to Zia. I know I would probably be exhausted after proposing to anybody. So, you know, Zia, no, don't go to bed. Nope. Wait. Oh, my God. Everybody is, like, doing the wrong things. Okay. Ryder, you're good. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh my gosh, is this gonna happen? Oh my gosh, this is all gonna happen in here. Oh, Yasmin's saying hello. Why don't... Oh my goodness, why don't you go take this over here, you guys? Um, Because Ryder's trying to sleep and you guys probably shouldn't wake him up. But so, you know, they go out into this little hallway of theirs, I think. Yeah, are you, guys, are you gonna go? Okay, there we go. So... Zia's also, oh my god, stop it, you guys, I swear to, but Jesus, like, go here, go here, yes, now, um, let's see if I can call her over, oh my goodness, I guess not, I don't know, like, this is really obnoxious, maybe I can, okay, Here we go. Okay, this is what I, I wanted to do. So Zia is all smelly and, um, you know, she is going to get into a really, um, you know, deep conversation with Yasmin because she's kind of like, wow, this is actually kind of invasive. I mean, you're my best friend, but still, I mean, coming in while I'm having sex with Ryder, like, that's kind of weird. And so ja Yasmin is just kind of like... Um, you know, she's like, I really don't approve of this. And Zia's like, well, you don't need to approve of this. This is my relationship. And <laughs> we're kind of back to that old nugget where Yasmin is like, you're moving way too fast. You, you need to not, you know, move so fast. But Zia apparently, um, is done. So she's actually going to revoke Yasmin's apartment key and ask her to leave. Um, so that's pretty intense. Zia doesn't usually get mad, but I mean, I think she's a bit reasonable in this for getting mad because like, you know, she just, oh uh, yeah, it's not working out. It's not working out. And so she's really sad that, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, she's really sad that it didn't work out with Yasmin, at least for now, but she is going to go to bed with her new fiance. So, oh wait, she should probably take a shower first. Just, just ignore <laughs> the fact she needs to take a shower. Um, but yeah, so this was definitely a really intense night for Zia because, oh my goodness, but we'll have her take a shower and go to the bathroom. And then maybe in the morning we can work something out. I'm not quite sure. Um, Zia is definitely thinking everything over. She's having one of those showers where you spend way too long in the shower because you're literally just thinking. Um, and so she's thinking about everything that is going on in her life right now. And then she is going to go to sleep and she um, does not have work in the morning. So that's good. So she can just sleep in. So I will see you guys in the morning. So Ryder is awake and what he is going to do is he is going to... Um, cook for his lovely fiance, um, but he doesn't really, he doesn't have that much cooking skills, so, um, he's actually, and he's kind of forgetful, so he's actually going to make her scrambled eggs with bacon, um, so, because, I mean, he likes bacon, and he knows how to cook bacon, it's actually one of the few things that he knows how to cook, which is a bit ironic, he's a doctor, maybe he should know more about eating healthy, but, I guess he just really likes bacon. Oh, wow. This is like the most awkward corner to cook in ever. Oh, my goodness. This is hilarious. Oh, I hope he doesn't burn the apartment down. I didn't realize he had never cooked before. Well, hopefully he doesn't burn the bacon. But Yasmin, or I mean Zia, oh, my God, is just sleeping the morning away. Um, I mean, it's not that late, but, you know, she just had a really hard night. Um... <laughs> 
but we will see. Um, I'm just kind of speed through writer preparing this. I'm wondering at the quality. And oh good, he didn't catch himself on fire. So at least there's that. Um, so that's normal quality. So that's good. So Zia, let's see how awake she is. She's pretty awake. So we're going to have her grab a serving because, you know, she's not, she, she's really, she really wants to be a good vegetarian, but like Ryder made this meal for her. And so she kind of feels a bit obligated to eat it and a bit annoyed with Ryder for forgetting that, you know, she is a vegetarian. But so let's see what she's feeling sad about. She's feeling sad about eating meat. Um, but, you know, let's, um, you know, express her fondness, you know, for Ryder, you know, kind of let him know how happy she is to be with him. And I think we do already have the freezer bunny snow globe. So, you know, I wonder what she can cook now that um, if she can cook anything new. Yeah, she can add like chili powder and she has what she needs to make the curry so that's really exciting so she can um, get better at um, eating spicy food so that's I really love that um, but right now she is eating this meat and sitting across from her fiance so you know I think what she's gonna do is she's actually going to um, call her mom this time um, just because she's not, not Yasmin, she's still mad at Yasmin, but she's going to call her mom and kind of, you know, talk to her while Ryder is, Ryder's going to go do work stuff or something. I think that's what he'll do. Yeah, he's just going to go do work stuff, you know, get ready for the day. And while he's out of the room, that is when um, Zia is going to, you know, call her mom and um, oh, she's feeling really bad from eating that food, but she's gonna call her mom and talk to her about everything that's happened Everything with Zia. She hasn't really ever talked about it with her mom before but she thinks that now is the time and so her mom Has actually, you know still for her marrying him, but her mom also Understands that Zia is feeling a little conflicted and she doesn't really think that Zia should marry Ryder if she is feeling at all conflicted so You know I'm not really quite sure um, where all of this is headed, but Zia is going to just um, try and take her mind off of the problems she's having with her best friend. And, you know, so, I mean, she's thinking about kids. You know, Zia can't have kids. Um, if you didn't watch the last episode, um, you didn't know that um, I talked about Zia actually being trans, but Zia can't have kids, so she's thinking about kids and she's thinking about Ryder, so I don't know. I kind of want them to be happy together, but we will see. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to give me a like, a comment, or subscribe, especially if you're interested in seeing the next episode. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Zia does not look like she is, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!